Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts, and I apologize, it's been quite a while since y'all have seen me, but I've been busy. I've got a few more of these um, pendants that I've done with the Mega Flakes. This is going to be just a jewelry share video. So, this one is Birds on a Wire. It's a little, cute little crow with the Mega Flakes in the background, and then I've stamped with a uh, script stamp in some Ranger silver embossing powder. And then I've gone over that with, um, mm -hmm, I believe it's the Judikins Black Opal, and stamped these birds on a wire. And I actually stamped it under the... Uh, UV resin and then I went ahead and stamped it again over the UV resin just to make it pop just a little bit more and this particular UV resin is the Ultra Dome and I'll try to remember to put a link underneath and um, it's just one that I've been trying out I love the Lisa Pavelko's Magic Gloss don't get me wrong but uh, Cindy Leach had talked about that the Ultra Dome actually shrinks a little bit less uh, which I did find is, is uh, true but uh, it is thinner and it does have a little more tendency to run over the edges so they both have their uh, they both have their perks so there's that one and here's another bird on a wire with the Mega Flakes in the background with the UV resin and the stamping, but this time I just did the stamping in, um, it's actually the Judikins and it's the Rustic Weathered Iron. Um, just because I don't have, I don't have a black, <laughs> I don't have just a plain black embossing powder. How sad is that? Alright, so, there's that one. Alright, and this is uh, just two hearts with the Mega Flakes, and um, I did it in kind of a lariat style pendant necklace. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, and then there's this um, kind of a French lion royal type crest lion. Again, with the mega flakes in the background and the script stamp that this time I stamped in uh, embossed in gold. Alright, and then I made this crown. And the metallic is from those uh, Mona Lisa metallic powders. And boy, do they shine. I really, really like them. Great, great product. Alright. That's the last of those Mega Flakes pieces. Alright, this is a Mica Shift piece. I hope you can see the effect. It's actually an ombre colored clay with two different golds. And then I've stamped in it with some steampunk stamps for the mica shift effect. And then these little gears on the side are from the mod mold molds. <laughs> Oh, it's a very strange day today. Alright, so there's that one. Alright, and then there's this bracelet that I did using this leftover scraps I had from the piece I just showed, the mica shift piece. And this is the Sculpey face mold one of the faces from the face mold. 
And then I've made her hair and flowers in her hair on this side. And leaves in her hair on this side. And she's spring. It's got a lovely pink. Yes, it is pink, even though it looks red. Inside to it. Alright. I just love her. She turned out so pretty. Alright, and then I just had to make a companion pendant to go along with it. So, the same face and the same type of detail in her hair. Flowers on one side, leaves on the other. This is um, a gemstone, or you know, a polymer clay stone from the tinted, mm -hmm, the tinted beads. <laughs> I don't even know what my old videos are called. The tinting, sanding, and glazing video. Alright. Again, she's really pretty. Alright, this was a piece I did for a custom order. Just a red beta fish. And it's a pin. Really cute. Alright, All right, and then because I've been so crazy hooked on these <laughs> faces lately, this piece actually matches um, my Tranquility Shrine, the Lost Tranquility. Really pretty. I just love this piece. Alright. Alright, and then the rest of these are just ones that I worked on um, basically over the weekend. Um, kind of a long weekend. We had snow, snow, snow. We actually had five inches of snow. Alright, sorry about that. Like I was saying, we had uh, five inches of snow over the weekend, so that's a lot for us here in Texas, and it probably won't, well, I won't say that. It doesn't snow like that here, um, but every couple of years, so it uh, shuts everything down. <laughs> Schools were closed. Everything was closed. <coughs> So these are the pieces that I've worked on over the weekend. So there's this one. A winter spirit or fairy or goddess. I hope y'all can see that. Um, it's supposed to look like faux tooled leather. With a horse's head. And this is another one of those that uh, is the tinted translucent clay that I did. And this one that's supposed to look like a, a flower fairy or a flower spirit. Didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted it to, but... I still like it. And then this one. She's supposed to be um, a volcano spirit or goddess or fairy. She's supposed to look Hawaiian 
themed somewhat. I still have to do her flower in her hair. Alright. Alright, and then there's this piece. I was out walking my new puppy the other day. Taking him out for his walk in the backyard. And I found this piece of wood. And I knew immediately what I wanted to do with it. So this is just a wall hanging. I love it. Uh, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to put this one up for sale. All right. And then just a little quick sneak peek of two other pieces that I'm working on. I want to thank all my new subscribers and don't worry I've got lots more tutorials and um, comparisons and reviews on products and all kinds of things in the work so I shall holler at y'all later